Jordan's bank, the Baptist cry announces that the Lord is nigh. Awake and hearken, oh, he brings glad tidings of the King of Kings. Heal the sick, spread out your hand, and bid the fallen sinners stand. Shine forth and let your light restore us own true In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take Almighty ever-living God, who, when Christ had been baptized in the River Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved Son, grant that your children, by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well-pleasing to you, for our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering weak wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon, those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. to the Lord, you sons of God. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Adore the Lord in holy attire. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The Lord over vast waters the voice of the lord is mighty the voice of the lord is majestic the god of glory thunders and in his temple all say glory the Lord is enthroned above the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord will bless his people with his A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak to those gathered in the house of Cornelius, saying, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. You know the word that he sent to the Israelites as he proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. What has happened all over Judea beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. The word of the Lord. approaching him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. This is what he proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. On coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit, like a dove, descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Excuse me. So today in the life of the church, we celebrate the baptism of the Lord. Today we're given this heavenly vision. We see the skies getting ripped open. We see the Holy Spirit coming down in the form of a dove. And we hear God the Father say, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. What we're given is one of these few images where we see the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and we see them together. This is a powerful image. So upon Christ's baptism, what does God the Father say? This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Each one of you have been baptized into Christ. Each one of you, through your baptism, have become partakers in the divine nature of God. Christ has poured his divine life in you. You are other Christs, Christians, right? When you were baptized, although we didn't see the sky rip open, we didn't see the Holy Spirit come down, we didn't hear God the Father say these words, What actually happened was, at the moment of your baptism, God the Father said, this is my beloved son. This is my beloved daughter, in whom I am well pleased. Let's imagine for a moment, let's imagine you just close your eyes. Think of the moment of your baptism, okay? Just a baby, probably. And I want you to, I want you to listen to those words, so that The priest has poured water over you three times, said, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. And I want you to hear those words. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. This is my beloved daughter in whom I am well pleased. Okay, you can open your eyes now. So did you receive that? Or there's some of you who received that with some hesitation like, I mean, I can see how the Lord would be pleased with these people, but I can't imagine God the Father speaking those words over me. If that's you, this homily's for you today. Yesterday was my birthday. I'm 39 years old. I got an incredible outpouring of people over the last three days just sending me texts and emails and cards, and I'm just like, holy cow, I've never seen anything like this before. It's way over the top. And the words that the people were speaking to me were so kind. And the Lord showed me something, okay? Sometimes when people say something nice to you, you've kind of got your walls up a little bit, and you're like, okay, thanks a lot, and you move on. But you don't receive the nice thing that the person is trying to say to you. Can anyone here relate to that? It's like, thanks a lot, you know? It's like their message kind of hits the wall and you kind of falls down. Not that I always do that, but I I realized that maybe some of that was going on. Uh, I actually noticed this the day before my birthday. And so I was like, you know what? 
when these people say these sort of things, I need to like absorb those things and receive those things, this good message. Um, and so I remember even after mass then, after holy hour yesterday morning, I'm laying there or sitting there over here praying and I'm just kind of being reminded of that, like that's, that's really powerful. You know, I need to do a better job of receiving the, the kindness and love of other people and then the Lord's like, you don't always do the best in our relationship either. <laughs> it's an interesting thought for you that if you have difficulty receiving the love from other people around you at times, or you don't just kind of actively receive that love from people around you, it might be difficult for you to also receive the love of the Father over you. And so when you hear these words, this is my beloved son, this is my beloved daughter in who I am well pleased, you're like, that's nice. I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna like, absorb that message. But I think we need to. Okay. Let's do another experiment, okay? Another activation. So I'm gonna invite you in a second to close your eyes again. Here is the next question that I'm gonna have you ask in just a moment. Lord, what were you thinking about me when you created me in my mother's womb? Okay, so have everyone close your eyes and ask that question. Lord, what were you thinking about me when you created me in my mother's womb. Okay. So you can open your eyes now. Some of you might be like, well, I, I kind of heard my own internal voice say something like this, but I mean, that's probably just my own internal voice. I wanna warn you, sometimes the voice of God can sound like our own voice inside. But the truth is, is that it's usually the evil one who is speaking words of condemna condemnation over us, and it's the Father who's speaking words of encouragement over us because he loves us so much. We do a lot of, we spend a lot of time listening to the world and to the toxicity of the world. And we need to be taking moments where we close our eyes, we invite the Lord in, we say, Lord, you have access to my heart. What do you think about me right now? What do you want to tell me right now? We need to be listening to the voice of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, through your baptism, you have been, partake, you have been made partakers in the divine nature and you have access to the Lord. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess on baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. 
Amen. Let us now bring to the Lord our needs and petitions. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For church leaders, may God bless them to be guiding lights for all people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our civil leaders, may they enact just laws which promote a culture that fosters truth and virtue. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation, following the Prince of Peace, may we be united in respect for one another and reverence for all human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of our parishioners, this year may we cooperate with God's grace and live our baptismal promises with a deeper commitment and fervor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all people of faith, may we actively pursue peace, understanding, healing, and unity between people of differing faith traditions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the seriously ill, may the support and tender care of family, friends, and professionals lead them to recognize with gratitude the loving presence of God in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers in our book of intercessions and for those prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts. And for Kirsten Bernie Manley, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In company with Mary, the Holy Mother of God, St. Anthony de Padua, our patron, and all the angels and saints, in peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, you hear all of these needs and petitions, and we make them all for your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the waters of the Jordan, you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism, so that 
through the voice that came down from heaven, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us. And by the spirits descending in and the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ your servant has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring good news to the poor. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth. And before your majesty, without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim. <clears throat> Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Anthony, our patron saint, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Kevin our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, in your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another a socially distanced sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Behold the one of whom John said, I have seen and testified that this is the Son of God. Let 
Let us pray. <laughs> Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that, faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth, through Christ our Lord. Well, I had announced a few weeks ago that um, that Brian Finkelstein, our music director, has accepted a new position over at St. Jude's. This is actually his final weekend, um, but he has said that he'll be able to be available for funerals or anything else that we might need. Um, we do not have anyone in mind for this position, so please be praying for a, a good replacement for Brian, but for now, Brian, thank you for your service here to this parish. <laughs> I want to wish you all a very good week. Remember that Christ loves you and that I love you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. St. Michael the Archangel, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, 
by the power of God, cast into hell, Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Manifest at Jordan stream, prophet, priest, and king supreme. And at Cana, wedding guest, in your Godhead manifest. Manifest in power divine, changing water into wine. Anthems be to you addressed, God in flesh made manifest. Manifest in 